Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. Okay. okay, so when you're using a sweep net, there's a couple different ways you can do sweeps in a crop. Uh, the standard technique we use for most insects in canola and alfalfa is what they call a 180 degree sweep. And that's essentially moving your net from shoulder to shoulder. And how deep the net goes into the canopy is also quite important. There's different ways you could sweep a crop. You could go really deep. Problem is, for insects like ligus bug that during the day are on top of the canopy, you're not going to get those very effectively. Uh, the other thing that a person could do is they could be sweeping just across the top of the flowers. You'll get the insects that are feeding on the flowers at the top. You won't get the insects a little bit further below. So you have to kind of standardize a technique when you're scouting for an insect. So for ligus bugs and canola, the proper technique is to have the net going through the canopy so you've got maybe an inch or two between the upper part of the rim and the upper part of the canopy. If you're too low, you're missing a lot. If you're too high, you're probably missing some. So again, the net should be going through right about like this, ideally. And again, you're doing, if you're doing 10 sweeps, it's shoulder to shoulder. So what I'll do is I'll do a set of 10 sweeps. We'll knock all the material to the back of the net, and then we're going to dump it into a container and see what we caught in there. I took the net and I gave it a couple really hard sweeps in the air. What I, the reason I did that is to knock everything to the back of my net. So I have all my insects trapped in this part of the net right now. Now there's a couple options at this point. Uh, you could invert your net and basically let's start, let things start coming out. This is a blister beetle coming out right now. They will feed on canola flowers. They're not a major pest of canola. So something that you'll see in there. Again, they will feed on the petals, but there's never enough of them to really be a serious problem. If I squish this beetle, I probably would get a blister. That's why they call them okay. blister beetles. Let's not do that. So we won't do that. Now, the problem with emptying the net this way Letting things just come out is you get a lot of things that fly out quickly as you start releasing. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not uh, super keen on if, or if you don't know what you're looking for, chances are you'd miss. Maybe you could miss for. a lot of stuff doing it this way. Okay. So you often do get some canola and I've noticed a ligus bug nymph crawling around. Oh. So right now the, the ligus bugs are still juveniles. So here we go, this is a ligus bug okay, juvenile. Thanks. They are quick, and that's one way you can tell a ligus bug from an aphid. Wow. Aphids don't move like that. They're slow, and they got these big, I call them tailpipes coming out of the back end. They're yeah. properly called cornicles. Uh, ligus bugs don't have those. But again, ligus bugs are a lot quicker. So based on that quick uh, movement, they're easy enough to tell from an aphid if you're not sure. Now, most of the ligus bugs right now are juveniles. Uh, we will start seeing some adult ligus bugs coming out really shortly. There might be the odd one out right now in our sweeps. When you're scouting for ligus bugs, it's really the, the later instar uh, juveniles and the adults that are going to cause most of the damage. So you want to be counting those as well when you're uh, sweeping a canola field. So how often though would you recommend that a farmer head out, I mean obviously it's going to depend on, on early indications like you mentioned with Bertha armyworm, but I mean is this a weekly walk you should be taking? What's the recommendation for sweeps? What you should be doing is uh, ideally going out once a week at least and look at the field. Uh, I know for people who are busy sometimes that's hard to do, uh, but we have seen fields that were not being watched. Uh, get eaten quite badly by insects like diamondback moth or bertha armyworm. Once a week is good as a general guideline. Uh, best way to do it is do a set of sweeps like I just did. See what's in your net. Don't get too freaked out if there's a lot of insects in there. Uh, if there's a lot of potentially bad ones, that's cause for alarm. But you, on a hot day like this, you're always going to have a lot of flies, 
things like Luxanid flies. Um, there's a, a group of flies called Tachinid flies. They're black, hairy flies. You always have a lot of those in there. They're parasites. There's often a lot of parasitic wasps. You're going to have your lady beetles. Um, things like the blister beetles that are there, but they're not major pests. So there, there often is a lot of things you will catch in the net. It may or may not be a bad thing. So that's one of the, the, the first things to do is have a look at what's there and decide, is there enough of any of the potential pests for me to be worried about needing to control? Great. Thanks so much, John. Oh, you're welcome.